friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Wednesday. It is another what I eat in a day. We have a very, very busy day today. We're working out, we're showing houses, we have a delicious crock pot dinner recipe and a lot of meals on the go today. So it's a good way to learn how to eat on WW or in a calorie deficit on the go. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you're going to find nutrition coaching where I do offer personalized to you one-on-one -on -one macros and calories. Highly recommend. A lot of you have been reaching out and asking about this service. It's a definite, definite must have. You have to know where you should fall every day to be successful. If you want to chat with me individual, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions as well. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you in today's video, as well as all of my other favorite things are linked down in that description box. And last but not least is my Facebook group. Head on over and join us. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into this busy on the go what I eat in a day. officially on the road this morning. It's about 7.45 in the morning. I'm making a couple of stops on my way to Jazzercise. First stop is at my real estate office. I need to check my mailbox and then also upload meal prep that you guys saw on Monday. Now, if you haven't seen Monday's meal prep, highly recommend checking it out. The recipes were so so good. I did bring that little mini healthy eating on the co go bar with me because I'm going to have that before I work out. So my class isn't until 930 and that's a little bit late for me to not eat anything prior to working out. I find that I get a little bit nauseous if I don't work out within an hour or two of getting up on an empty stomach. So I'm going to have the little healthy eating all the time and go bar for three points. I had my coffee for one and then after we work out, we are going to show some houses but we're going to make a couple stops along the way. We're going to do a little bit of eating out today because I am out and about showing houses. We'll definitely eat breakfast out and potentially lunch just depending on how house showings go and then we'll come home and make a really really good dinner and I think I said crock pot dinner in my intro but it's actually a one pot lasagna soup not a crock pot. So with that being said I'm going to enjoy my little snack and we'll head on over to do this morning's workout. is done. I feel amazing. My body's sore, but I feel amazing. I'm going to run through the Starbucks drive through and get some food and a coffee, and then we're going to go show some houses. Yes, can I get the spinach and feta wrap? <laughs> I'm afraid we're out of spinach and feta wraps today. Is there something else I can get you? Yeah, can I do the turkey um, and turkey bacon sandwich? I got you there. Okay. And then can I also have a venti of the brown sugar cinnamon oat milk with oh, yeah. light ice? Okay. Venti brown sugar oat shake and espresso. The Spanish style pink stucco house is house number one. This is interesting because there are literally only a handful of these Spanish style stucco houses in my city. I mean, literally probably less than 10. So house number one. I didn't get any footage of the second house because it was back to back showings today and there were people leaving, people coming, but we are going to put an offer in on the second house. They should let us know by tomorrow. And there's another house they're interested in that we could put in an offer tomorrow if we don't get this house. 
it is so incredibly competitive right now where I live. I know it's competitive everywhere, but there were at least 50 agent cards on the counter. So 50 showings in the last couple days. So it's been crazy. So I'm headed right now to Wendy's to get Troy some food. I think I'm going to get myself something as well. So we have a big day of eating out today. I'll let you guys know what I end up getting and then I'm gonna go home and write this offer. So cross your fingers. Thank you for just Wendy. Thank you for uh, yes, can I get five of your cheeseburger deluxe, the junior cheeseburger deluxe? And yeah. and a large chili, please. Would you like cheddar cheese sauce and onion with that? Uh, no, thank you. And that's everything. Awesome. I'll be 15, 20 minutes at the window for thank, you. Thank you. So you saw what I ordered at Wendy's. I am having the large chili. It is 2 p.m. here, and I haven't eaten since after my workout. That was about 10.30. So I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to have a large chili for lunch and an afternoon snack. I probably won't eat anything else until dinner. Well, I'm home from showing houses. I will put here on the screen whether or not my clients got the house because by the time I edit this video, I will know that. And now I'm going to get ready to make some dinner, but I wanted to share with you guys something that we've really been loving since we now have three dogs. One dog, which sheds a lot, Diesel, and Palmer and Lola, they shed, but just not as much or as obviously as Diesel. We also have allergy season in full gear where I live. It's raining today, it was nice yesterday. My allergies have been out of control. When we got Palmer, we decided that it made sense for us to get an air purifier for our home to help really purify the air. Air purifiers are a really affordable way to have nice clean air. You can put them in a specific room, maybe a room that you spend a lot of time in or a room that you notice that your allergies seem to flare up in. For us, that's our bedroom. Our dogs are in there constantly laying on the bed, looking out the window. It's also, of course, where we sleep at night, where I watch TV in the evenings, and I feel like when I wake up, that's when I'm stuffed up from allergies, and I know that there's a lot of particles floating in the air because the dogs are in there, we're in there, and that is the room that we typically spend most of our time. So we decided to go ahead and pick up an air clear. The air clear filters out 99.97% .97 of penetrating air particles. It uses a true HEPA filter, which is one thing we were really looking for in an air purifier, which is a step up from a HEPA filter because HEPA does 90% filtration and the true HEPA does 99.97% of dust, pollen, mold, bacteria, and other airborne particles up to 0.3 microns in size. So it's going to get all of those little particles floating around in the air. You can program the air clear to work for two, four, and eight hour durations, or you can just leave it running nonstop, whatever your preference is. We usually leave ours on at night or any time that we're spending a decent amount of time in our bedroom. The effective range is generally 120 to 150 square feet. So it works in typical sized rooms, which are approximately 100 to 150 square feet in area. We have a pretty good sized bedroom, but it still has been really effective and clean cleaning up the air and making it much cleaner and comfortable for us. You can put it wherever you want in the room to purify the air and it will start attracting all the air particles around us. I've even noticed a difference in the air that I'm breathing, especially in that particular room. Again, it's perfect for bedrooms, kitchens, offices, and more. It does have three fan speed modes, one, two, and three. One is the lowest speed of the fan, three is the highest. Generally at night we have it on three, sometimes during the day we'll turn it down to one, so it's barely running but it's still picking up all those particles in the air and it's super quiet. I'm impressed on how quiet it is. It also has a filter change indicator light so it tells you when filters need to be changed. There's no ozone emission and there's a built-in timer again two four or eight hours if you want to set the timer and it will automatically turn itself off. So we've been loving it. It's definitely made a huge difference in the air and even a bigger difference in our allergies. Now I still have allergies but it's definitely definitely made a huge difference. So what I'm going to do is link this one down below. It's super affordable and it is 20% off. So I'm gonna go ahead and link the 20% off down below for you guys if you're interested in picking up an air purifier for your home. I highly, highly recommend it. It's been a big, big game changer for us. Get him, Squirt. Get him. Palm, are you playing with your sister? Get him, Squirt. Get him. Good girl, Lola Lou.
Be sure to tell everybody that you're going to see the surgeon on June 10th to see about your knee and say my arm is wrapped up because I have a wound that I won't stop licking. Yep, that's exactly why. We'll take good care of you, buddy. We'll get y'all into tip top shape again. For tonight's dinner, I'm making one pot 30 minute lasagna soup. I'm super excited for this. It sounds really good. It's kind of a chilly, somewhat rainy day today. So this is a perfect, perfect dinner. You're going to need tomato paste, marinara. I am counting this as zero points. You can use skinniest dish. If the marinara doesn't have any added sugar or oil, I count it as zero. And I don't have any skinny dish marinara on hand, so I'm using this one. It calls for eight to 10 cups of chicken broth. This is all I have left. These are both a little over half full. So I'm gonna use the beef and the chicken. Whole milk, minced garlic. It wants a 14 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, but because I don't quite have enough broth, I'm going to use the large can of diced tomatoes for the extra liquid that comes in there for the recipe. Bay leaves, basil, and oregano balsamic vinegar, sweetener of your choice. This is the Lakanto monk fruit. I'll make sure I link Lakanto down below. I always have a discount for you guys. Lasagna noodles, of course, an onion and some pepper. And then we are actually going to pair our dinner with these Trader Joe's mini French baguettes. These are from the freezer section. I don't know that they're still available. They're basically a breadstick and they're three points a piece and they're delicious. So we're gonna have some of those with our soup. I totally forgot to show you guys a pound of 96% ground beef. To a big Dutch oven or stock pot, you can see I have quite a large pot here. I did add the pound of ground beef and the chopped up onion. We're going to let this cook until the beef is cooked through. Once your ground beef is browned, you'll drain any excess fat. I didn't have any because this is such a lean cut of beef. And then I'm going to just plop in a big scoop of minced garlic and let that cook for another minute. Here are those mini baguettes from Trader Joe's. Like I said, they're kind of like a breadstick. I just usually add a little bit of spray butter and some garlic salt or regular butter and some garlic salt to these. We're now going to add in about six cups of chicken broth the entire jar of marinara sauce or a jar's worth of the crock pot marinara, the can of crushed tomatoes, a bay leaf, oregano, and basil, two tablespoons of tomato paste, two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar, a teaspoon and a half of your sugar, and some pepper. Go ahead and give that a quick stir and then we're going to add in the lasagna noodles. I weighed out 10 ounces on my food scale and broke them in to one to two inch pieces. Go ahead and bring that to a boil, pop on a lid and we're going to let this simmer on the stove for 20 to 30 minutes or until our lasagna noodles are cooked through. Once the noodles are cooked through, go ahead and remove your bay leaf and look at my messy stove. That's gonna be fun to clean up. I'm going to add in half of a cup of whole milk. And then if you want to thin out the consistency of your soup, that's where those extra cups of chicken broth come from. I'm pretty happy with the consistency of mine, so I don't think that I'm going to use any more chicken broth. So I'm going to stir this in, plate it up, and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is a dinner. I am excited for this. So that entire pot of soup only makes six servings and is six points per serving on all plans. Now you could lower that on purple if you used a whole wheat lasagna noodle if they make those, but I don't think six points for a big bowl of lasagna soup is bad. I topped it with just a tiny bit of mozzarella cheese, not even enough for a point. And then I'm having one of those mini baguettes from Trader Joe's for three points. So my entire dinner, nine points. 6 p.m. and I am officially done with my gallon of water. Where are you going? We're, are we just gonna go in circles with our stick? Yeah, all right. Having a good time, aren't you, buddy? For dessert tonight, I'm having one of my Charlie and the peanut butter factory little peanut butter bites. These are so good. I showed these in last week's What I Eat in a Day, but these are the full size ones. They have the power poppers, smooth poppers, and almond butter poppers. They're 170 calories and they range between four and five smart points per popper. This is the size of the full size ones. They're in a large condiment 
container and they have so many delicious flavors and then these are the cookie popper tops these are amazing they come in cookie samoa brownie cookie red velvet cookie cookie birthday cake you can see I've eaten a lot of these. I love these. And these are the same full size four to five points. And then this is the one that a lot of you guys have ordered because this is the deluxe mini sampler pack. There is smooth flavors, cookie flavors, and then some fun seasonal flavors. These are only 40 calories or one point per bite. So this is the size of these ones. So basically they're in the little condiment container. So the big ones are in the big condiment containers and the little ones are in the little. So here is the size difference. A few of you were asking about the size difference. So that is one point and these are four to five. So I'm going to have one of the mini poppers. It's only one point in blueberry cheesecake. You store these in your freezer and you can eat them right out of the freezer. You just pop them out of the little container. You can eat them with a spoon at room temperature and you can pop these into a smoothie so really really cool great way to get in a healthy sweet treat with some healthy fats some protein I will link them down below they did offer a 25% discount just for my subscribers so I'll link that down below for you guys so that you can pick these up for yourself at 25% off joining me on another what I eat in a day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today on this super busy but productive day. Lots of eating on the go so learning how to eat in a caloric deficit or on WW at a restaurant on the go is super important. So hopefully that helped you out a little bit today. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it. That way you never miss a single upload. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you today, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group are all down in that description box. Happy Wednesday, friends, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.